What galaxy do you want to go to, Mario? Mario's got to peace. Mario, what the f*** are you doing? What? Honeycomb. Oh. Okay. Just travel on the honeycombs as be Mario. Oh, hi, Enigma. What are you doing back in Brilliant Diamond? <laughs> I believe this is... Oh. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. 3 music. God, I suck. If I'm already falling off. You know, what's interesting is that I actually don't really remember this one. Uh, too well. I don't know why. Oh, meteors. See, like, I don't... I actually just don't know why I don't remember this one. Weird. Well, I don't... It doesn't feel too hard. But I can see where the difficulty comes in. There are a lot of star bits here, though. So I feel like this could be a nice star bit grinding level. Like, I already got 100. Oh, and there's still more. Yeah, this absolutely has to be a star bit grinding level. Not too difficult. You get at least, if you're really good, like 200 per run. Oh, I thought it would only attack if it was looking at me. But turns out it'll attack if I'm near it. But that's fine. Super easy level. Very good star bit grinding. So now I got to keep that in mind when I got to feed those pink lumas. Well, back to the uh, mirrored galaxy. Because that's really what it is. Just a color palette and a mirror. I know I said it last time, but I still can't believe certain games like to get away with that. The Cataquacks. They're from Sunshine. I played Sunshine a long time ago. I kind of want to play it again, truth be told. I don't know. With all the mixed reviews that Sunshine gets, I still love it uh, very much. It's dear to my heart. That and uh, Thousand Year Door. Which the playthrough that you guys saw if you guys saw it, was actually from 2021. So it wasn't actually, you know, like my best work. Whee. It was my first Let's Play. So it only makes sense that it was scuffed. Saw a bunch of music notes. I'm trying to figure out how to get to them. If I haven't already messed it up already. I think I might have messed it up already. Is this a secret area? Well, maybe not secret, but like secret to get here. I'm curious. I'm not sure what happened to the music, though, truthfully. It even has a nice little wood carving of the Cataquack. Come on, over here. Thank you. There's the music. Why do I get the feeling that wasn't the right way? Or was it? I don't even know. I don't get by the Cataquacks. I feel like it's going into a... Oh. Black hole? Okay, no. They could have been real mean with that. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Please. Stop. <laughs> Over here, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, time for B Mario again. Oh, did not see you there. Depth, depth perception's a bitch. There we go. Okay. A little bit of a longer level, but, like, it's fine. It works. But it was, like, under the same premise of, like, get the B power up, but I did like the Cataquax. There it is. The enemy base. The last one, too. But I'm pretty sure that even if I get this Grand Star, I'm not allowed to beat the game yet. Which is fine. So let's get this Grand Star. Junior again. Okay. Time to kick the kid's ass. Looks like we need a bullet bill. I'm just trying to figure out where they are. Oh, there it is. No fear. Let's go. Oh, look. Extra health. That we may or may not need. This is unfortunate. It's got minions. Wait. Oh, yeah, this is a repeat boss, I think, from what I read. Yep. Remember that first guy we did way back when? Well, he's back. Looks like Mario games can't stop uh, reusing bosses. They did the same thing in uh, Sunshine with Blooper. If I give up any more Grand Stars, my dad's going to get mad. Your ultimate weapon. A boss that I kicked. <laughs> that, that's ass I kicked. Long time ago. That ultimate weapon, Junior. They're really full of good ideas. Although I am pretty sure this is supposed to be harder than the original one. Let's see. Not really. Oh crap. 
Got it. You're bad. Ow, I'm bad. No, I'm bad. Damn it. No, I'm so crap. There we go. Good lord. I'm just terrible. And that's it. That's the fight. It would have been done a little bit ago. Well, I mean, for you guys, it'd be not as bad. But, like, I... I'm just bad. Don't worry about it. <laughs> There's a house and another area? Ooh. Oh yeah, there is another area outside of the engine room. The garden. The beacon is almost too bright to look at. We can see the center of the universe. We just need a few more power stars. Okay, okay, I hear you. Let's get some more power stars. I guess we could check out the new galaxies. And whenever there isn't a new galaxy, we could just revisit some old ones. There's a little house here, though. Let's check this out. The gate. Isn't this where we were in the beginning of the game? Yes, it is. But now, there's got to be something here, right? If I remember correctly, anyway. Hello, Mommy. I mean, Rosalina. <clears throat> Aw. Every 100 years, she would visit this planet. Some lunas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. Yeah, yes. Bowser being Bowser. Don't worry about it, Rosalina. Not your fault. If you grab all one, oh, not the purple coins, <laughs> then you earn my trust too. This is a red star. It holds the power of the red lumas. But the really the amazing part about it is it allows you to fly after you spin in midair. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, how do I control this? Okay, we're fine. This is actually really cool. And the music... I, if I recall correctly, this music is absolutely goaded. Miss. I missed that coin like a schmuck. But just like all other power-ups, this is not infinite. Eventually it runs out. What I don't understand though is that why does this Red Luma be like, Oh wow, Rosa, Rosalina trusts you so much, but I can only trust you if you collect all these coins. I'm just like, what? Why? Oh my god, that one's red. Okay. So first we have the green stars. Now we have this red star. Another one? Oh, I only have so many star bits. Alright, well, the good news is I now have... Oh, there it is. Yes. So yeah, I remember that correctly. Basically, now instead of having to run everywhere, you could just get this and fly around the hub world. Which is great. Look at the garden. I actually really like the aesthetic of this one. So yeah, 48, 52, and then a hidden one. Okay, let's see here. Oh, the deep dark galaxy. It looks like another like water one, but menacing. Give it a try. A ghost ship. Ooh. Oh, what's his name? The guy from, there's like one of the original villains from Scooby-Doo. That's the only thing I can think of when I hear of ghost ships. I'll, I'll, I'll jump scare. <laughs> oh, this is about to be a massacre. They're all dead. Ah, yes, but I think I know what to do with this. Oh, I'm dumb. Yes, got it. Ah, how subtle. Okay, looks like we're here. Oh wait, I think I know what kind of what kind of level this is. Okay. Just seeing the ghost ship reminded me of one of the airships. Let's see. Am I right? Oh, hi again. It's you. Look, another reused boss. Okay. You know the drill. Dodge the fire. Grab the shell. Oh, now she's up there. It's fine. It's not fine. That's what I get for being cocky. Get out of here. 
Now it's fine. Oh, it's still going. Not, no more rule of threes. Cool. Not again. Get out of here. Get out. <laughs> I hurt myself in the process, but whatever. But it's official. Nintendo bro broke their rule of, of rule of three. That one took four hits. I think we got time for one more. Let's check out this new galaxy. The Dreadnought Galaxy. Ooh. Uh, again, very vague to me. Well, let's go. You stupid. Okay, not a great start. Oh boy. Mm, I think I got a wall jump. I'll take this. Wait, that's dangerous. <laughs> I was like, if I try doing anything, I'm just gonna die. Okay, it only goes one direction. Good to know. Oh, I thought I timed it right. I did not. Oh, I gotta start all over from here? Okay. Honestly, I see no point in taking that that mushroom if all my deaths are gonna be just getting squashed instantly. Much better. <laughs> Can't hold up those. Oh, this is bad. I think the floor falls underneath me. Uh-oh. Not again. I should have taken the mushroom. <laughs> it's fine. That's what Goombas were made for. Get me out of here. There's still more. There it is. Just gotta go the long way by the looks of it. Unless, let me see. Almost. Hold on, I, I can get this. What? What is this gravity? It feels weird. That's not me being an idiot. That's, I mean, maybe it is me being an idiot now that I think about it. I don't know. It just feels like I'm fighting the gravity. Oh, okay. I think I can't. I think I need to do something first before I try this. Oh, this helps. Uh oh. This couldn't make it easy for me. Oh, come on. Close. Okay, we got it. All right, um, that was a little, uh, that was a uh, required a lot more platforming skills. I'm, I'm glad. This is now no longer a game made for babies. Okay, but that's gonna have to do it for today. Sorry if it's a bit of a shorter episode. It might be the normal length, but it also might be shorter. I'm kind of getting tied with other things to do and whatnot, cause you know, life, right? But still, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very happy about the ramp that's happening with the series. So I'm gonna keep pushing it till its end. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Take care of yourselves, all right?